Looks like Dad's coming down the side road here, and uh, we're gonna be too wide we're gonna have to meet each other. So let's hope he pokes out of here before I have to go in. There's no cars behind me. This is part of the dilemmas of farming sometimes. Oh, but here he is. Looking large and in charge. Guess he must be done disking already. The good, the bad, and the ugly, right? Good evening. Um, I wasn't gonna make much. Of, just, just stay over here, Clyde. Okay, I wasn't going to make much of a video today. I just wanted to show you a little bit how much manure we got. There was a lot of manure in that pack. We got a wall of manure, a little bit on this side. Wall of manure going around and around and around and around. Yeah, and then there's the hole inside there yet. And yeah. Okay, Clyde, let's go bet up the, bet up the uh, cows now. Yeah. So I put straw in there. And up two bales and we got to go uh, spread it out now for the cows. Oh, and I almost forgot if you're new to the channel You're watching Pond Bank Farms. Welcome to the channel. I'm Ben Lichty and uh, We'll see what fun we get to um, The weather's supposed to be drying up here in the next few days. So Obviously got a lot of manure to haul got some seeding to do all kinds of stuff Okay, got the bales unrolled just got to throw the straw Even it out and then we'll let the cows in Okay, I ran out of straw here at the front, but that's okay. They got lots at the back, so this is where they kind of make a... This is more of their standing area anyway, so... They'll be anxious to come in, I'm sure. Oh. Yes, they're going to be a little thirsty. It's been a few hours. Enjoy your new bed. What is this? April 20th. April 20th. I don't believe it. Good morning. So the snow stopped for now, which is nice. Um, leaving a muddy mess behind. About this lane, I gotta put some gravel in the potholes at least or something. It should only be this wide, probably. So that should be grass seed planted again, probably. Anyway. I'm going to uh, fill the seed drill up when it's go time. I don't want to have to do any extra, anything extra. So usually we're rushing around not the way it is. So if we can get some stuff done ahead of time, it's always a bonus. What a miserable day. Anyway, I got some seeds loaded in the seed drill. It's not quite full yet, but Jake needs to skid steer back. And uh, I'm going to take it back for him. And I got some, uh, I got some things to fix at the, at the dairy farm. So we're going to... Okay, so dad picked this up yesterday. It's a uh, sorghum. I don't know if it's, honestly, not even sure if it's, there's, I know there's two different types of sorghum. There's sorghum Sudan grass and then like sorghum. I'm not sure which it is to be honest, but this is something newer. Well, we've tried this already, but we're gonna commit to it this year. Yeah, it looks like sorghum Sudan grass it says. So we're committing to it this year. I'm gonna try it and uh, doing a full field here. We're supposed to get a lot of feed off it. We need feed, so. We're just trying with one field, 30 acre field. My first project I'm doing is, uh, we have a tarp door here with a winch. And there's a pulley over here. And that block came off on us yesterday. We put some smaller screws in. I got these big legs to put in there. Um, and that's what I'm doing. Sometime, we gotta figure something out with this whole system here. We gotta figure something out with that. Because you can see this is bending here. And it's, because that's mounted right on there. 
This motor should be going directly on the wall, I think. Do it. Okay, I got. I put five in there, three there, two at the on top of the pulley. Should if that doesn't hold, nothing will. Now, I view maintenance as one of the imp most important things on the farm. <laughs> However, one thing that gets overlooked is my car, and I do not do maintenance on it like I should. The oil is way past due getting changed. I'm going to get it changed now. And since it's been so long, I'm going to try to change it again in maybe like a few weeks just to give it a good cleanse. So, I'm going to get to quick doing that now. Okay. It's a little concerning here. Um, this oil, this oil has a really strong gas smell to it. So I'm wondering if there's gas leaking into the oil. And in which case, I don't know. Okay, got the filter back, the new filter on, plug in. Ready to put some oil in. Okay, so we just got done pumping the manure up here. And when we're done, we have a latch we open just to empty the pipe that goes up to the uh, big pit. So we're just emptying that out right now. We got an oil leak here. Looks like it's coming out of here, so I think I might need a new piece or tighten it up or something. So, gotta get that done. We got a pipe in there manure pit there that I should be able to walk in and grab. Obviously got to be careful. We got some wood chunks there too I should grab. Okay, I'm just unhooking the packer here. Going to hook onto the fertilizer spreader. We have some rented ground of grass a little ways away. I'm going to spread that on. It's um, dry cow hay we usually make out of it and stuff like that. So I'm going to get this hooked on so it's ready to go first thing Monday morning. I think I'm just going to back this in the other end of the heifer barn here. Put it under roof over the weekend. Okay, that should be good enough for the weekend. I think I'll close this door. Okay, good enough. Looks like there's a small rip here. Hmm, interesting. Not much straw left up here. We can start parking a fair bit more equipment once that straw is gone. I wish we would have put a man door from this side into the main barn, but we didn't. So if you don't have a garage door opener, you just gotta walk around. Okay, so we're going to my in-laws for the weekend, but uh, before I do that, work to do here yet. I'm gonna pull the uh, pump out of the pit here, and not sure what else yet. Okay, it's nippy on the fingers out here. Anyway, got this pipe swung around. Gonna pull the uh, pump out now. Okay, so this is the piece that was leaking here. I mean, it was leaking right out of there. It might just have to get tightened up. It's kind of how it's looking, so. That's an easy fix, good. Okay, it's getting on to evening here, it's Saturday night. We're gonna head up to uh, Emily's family and uh, spend tonight and tomorrow there. Head back down tomorrow night, and hopefully by then, 
it'll be dry enough that Monday morning first thing I can start spreading fertilizer and uh, maybe even get to seeding would be nice but we'll see good morning it's Monday morning here we're gonna have a busy day I think if if we can do everything we want to do I think the land should be dry enough I'm gonna hook on the um, seed drill for dad and then he can go out and start seeding and then I'm gonna go spread some fertilizer Gotta go over to the other farm and get the uh, tractor to hook on. Oh, it's cold this morning. Minus one. Let the glow plugs go twice here since it's so cold, I guess. I'm gonna start the, fertile, the tractor on the fertilizer spreader while I'm here too, so it's warmed up by the time I wanna go. Here it is. Still where I put it last, that's a good sign. Make the gold plugs go here too. Just gotta unhook the manure pump here, somewhere up by the pit probably. Okay, got the seed drill out here. Gonna throw some skids of wheat on the front for dad. Hook on the seed drill, and then we're gonna go spread some fertilizer. Okay, gonna take this over to the uh, dairy farm. Dad will take it from there. Okay, we'll just leave that there for gear. We're off to spread. Now, I mean, we made this, um, this heifer barn at the end to mirror the other side so if we ever want to extend we go pull that wall out and we can make this a heifer barn we got our uh this would be our straight valley door our pack door and our um our feed alley door so it's all we made it all so if we can expand and always make this last 50 feet into heifer barn as well if if uh we ever need it So we uh, renovated our um, our uh, bank barn inside last winter, and this is uh, still piles of stuff we pulled out that we didn't get cleaned up yet around here. This manure is gonna have to get hauled here soon. There's no more room on the cement pad. We did get the, this whole pit down here empty and pumped it all up to the big pit. And it looks like Gary just showed up here. He's gonna do some disking. Um, he was gonna see but he, he uh, we got a fair bit of rain in the last field since he dissed it last so He's gonna disc it again soften the ground up before he seeds So it's about what is it May 21st, I mean sorry April I think it's April 21st April 22nd and uh getting a little concerning. I know a lot of farmers are like, why are you concerned? Like, you're going to get your seeds in the ground and, yeah, you will. Um, we like to have our seeds in the ground early. That way when we get called for custom work, we can run and we don't have to worry about doing ours anymore. And, I don't know, if it starts raining for a week or two now and all of a sudden it gets pretty late, like, um, a week from now we're going to be, you know, almost almost beginning of May, and we like to have all our corn in, or most of it by May 10th, May 12th, and Emily is due um, with our second child on the middle of May, so we, I really want to have all the corn in the ground by then, and uh, so it's not getting concerning yet, but we're, we're just really trying to watch our opportunities. We have um, about 50 acres rented up here. We keep it in grass. It's uh, 50 acres. I think it's like maybe eight fields. That gives you an idea how big the fields are. Um, so we just keep it in grass and uh, fertilize it. And 
sometimes we even haul manure here if we have time, but uh, keep it in grass and every year take it off for dry cow feed or dry hay. Okay, here we are. So this field here is about 20 acres, so that's a nice size field. And then we got a bunch of smaller ones on this side. So you can always know how many stones, how stony a farm is by the fence rows, they always say. This farm's got some big stones underneath it. We call this farm the rock farm for obvious reasons. There's huge boulders underneath. That's another reason that we don't try to till it up and work it. So we are on the last small field um, in, at this location. So there's two farms right beside each other here and I'm just, this is the last field of that and then I gotta head the other side of town which is probably three quarter hour. Um, I think we got like three small fields over there so maybe like, I don't even know, 10 acres maybe. I gotta spread there. Then we're gonna head back home. We got some fertilizer in the wagon that I gotta spread on um, a field that we're gonna be putting wheat in here today. Okay, time to settle in for some long road driving. Change of plans, I'm gonna go seeding until dad's done desking, then he's gonna take over seeding. Then I'll finish spreading fertilizer. So, we're just fueling up and then we'll be on our way. Okay, currently on my way to seed. Looks like dad's coming down the side road here and uh, we're gonna be too wide uh, to meet each other. So, let's hope he pokes out of here before I have to go in. There's no cars behind me. This is part of the dilemmas of farming sometimes. Oh, but here he is. Looking large and in charge. Guess he must be done disking already. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so Garrett came to take over seating for me. And that's Emily there in that truck. She brought me my lunch. And I am gonna, I'm off to spread fertilizer now. Okay, we're back here and gonna finish spread this fertilizer now that dad's seeding. It's turning into what I would call a gorgeous day. Not a bad day, eh, Clyde? We are at the next field here. Just got a few small fields here that we got to spread on. And then we're gonna go back, fill this up with some fertile, some different fertilizer we have in our wagon for um, the wheat. Now the reason we don't work this with our other land is there's some crazy hills here. Oh, we have this in grass, we have a little two acre patch in grass and another three acre patch in grass. Is it worth it? I don't know, not really, but it's part of the farm and um, we do get a little hay off it and it helps, so. Okay, so I just got a little more fertilizer left in the fertilizer spreader here. And we got a little bit of grass. Um, same farm that Dad's seeding at right now. There's a little grass field at the bottom of that farm, like three acres maybe. And well, I'm gonna go spread there now. And we'll see how much is left. If there's any left, I'll just spread what's left on one of one of our fields on the home farm. So we just got a narrow field here, small field. Okay, we're gonna pull out this wagon here. This is the uh, rest of the fertilizer for our spring wheat. So we're gonna throw this in the fertilizer spreader, get it spread.
Looks like this auger is uh, seeing its last days. Whoa, we got a plug up. I got the wagon empty and I am ready to go spread the last of the fertilizer. And we're going to hopefully, I think we're going to make it, get the spring wheat all finished. All the grains will be in the ground then. And then we can focus on uh, hauling manure and custom work. Okay, a little bit more to go. I'm ready to be done spreading fertilizer. Um, spreading fertilizer is one of those things where it doesn't seem like it should take long. It's like, and you feel like I'm just going to go spread a bit. But then you get enough and it adds up and it takes a good, can take a good part of the day. Not a bad farm here. As a matter of fact, the first YouTube video I did was on this field here. It was last fall. Uh, combining corn. So we tried something interesting last fall. We disc this field, which was corn, and we didn't disc, we did not disc a field over there, which was corn. And I heard a rumor that the stocks compost better if you don't disc them because they're uh, upright. And I found it hard to believe, but like anything, you gotta try it to know. We are officially done spreading fertilizer for this. So I'm gonna go seed. We got one more farm to do. Uh, Dad's disking it right now. And then we're done with seeding. Gonna quick pack everything and that'll be it for now there's some wet spots and stuff we couldn't do yet um we're obviously gonna have to go back and redo that a little bit but the majority of the bulk of it will be done then so i got the packer hooked on for later on i'm gonna take the seed drill out now um grab another tote of seed first and put some in the drill probably dad just left to start disking over there so i got a bit of time and then i'm gonna head over there and we'll get her wrapped up here tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, we're on our way, bud. Okay, I'm just driving to the other field here. I don't see gear in this field yet. We'll still be in the back field here. One field done. That was a field with all the wet holes in it. Two fields to go. And Gare's just finishing up this field right now. Okay, I just got done filling the seed drill. Gare's just finishing up with the disc. We got a small field on the other side of this tree line to do, and then this field, which is like 17 acres. Okay, we are all done seeding here. Gonna throw some of these empty bags in the seed drill. And uh, change of plans, I'm not gonna pack tonight. It's looking, the rain's getting pushed off a bit for tomorrow, so it's not looking like it's gonna rain at 10 or 11. So we're gonna get up early tomorrow and uh, get some sleep tonight. It's about midnight, and then I can pack tomorrow, and we got some manure to haul tomorrow, so. That's what we're going to do. Okay, well, I think I'm going into bed. Um, Got to get up fairly early in the morning, haul some manure, and get some land rolled. So, I think, having said that, that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. We'll be getting into some interesting stuff next video. So... If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can see that. And um, like it, share it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.